Hackers of Reddit, what's something you stumbled upon that you immediately nope the fuck out? Many long years ago there was this website called DON8. It was basically just a weird ambiguous splash page with a countdown timer and a map with red dots all over it. This thing was super effective at rustling the jimmies of the entire internet. I found a way in relatively early on and, based on a few things I found in the web route it became immediately obvious that the whole thing was a prank, so I decided to leave it alone and watch it play out. Right at the very end of the countdown, the guy that was running the whole thing updated the website with his big reveal, including some message about how hackers from all over the world kept trying to break in but none could manage it, called us all lame noobs. I was a bratty teenager, so I took that as a challenge. I was on a teleconference with some other hackers at the time, so we jumped on the server through a back door I'd left and defaced the page with this severely cringe inducing message. Oh god, I can't believe I'm sharing this. I blacked out the guy's name, but I'm sure someone here probably knows him or knows a VON8, so if he sees this, sorry dude. GD kids, right? Anyway, right around this time, as the countdown ended, and for a while after, the server was getting swamped to the point of an essential DOS. This was happening, while I was logged into SSH on the server. I was in the process of doing some cleanup, deleting some utility scripts I'd put on the server, but I was impatient. The lag was growing, and I was working faster than the server was sending me responses. I changed directories at one point, and tried to delete everything in it, before seeing a response from the server, and didn't realize I'd fat fingered the cd command. I ended up deleting a bunch of his stuff, that I didn't mean to- The second I realized what I'd done I instantly felt horrible and nope the fuck out of there. We had planned on razzing the guy for a while, but I was just totally done. Was asked to steal a couple bitcoin from a customer's associate back when BTC and old coins were booming. Got access to his wallet fairly easily, being curious as I am. Checked how he got so much coin. Had tons of small sum payments with links attached to the transactions. Checked one and it was just child porn. Lots and lots of child porn. Told the guy I was working for his associate was a fucking pedo and quickly dropped a line to the relevant authorities. Shit like that fucks you up man. TLDR was asked to gain access to a BTC wallet, checked the transactions and they were selling fucked up child porn. Got hired through a website where someone wanted me to gain access to a kid's computer who darkst him. Got onto it, and found that he was looking up recipes for explosives. Turned him in, and noped out of there. Have had a few others where I found CP. It's way too common quickly make a throw away because slightly paranoid or whatever. Also hardly hacking but it counts. I like finding insecure IPE cameras, mostly ones with no password or the default password, and then log into them to see wherever they are. A lot are in houses, some are in kids rooms, or whatever, never tend to keep any open long enough to see popal. One was in a random house in the front room and there was some girl on the sofa who was 4 or 5 years old. After a few minutes they got up, and were totally naked. Never went back to that one. Not really hacking, but back in the day I wrote a trojan that would steal user account info and cd keys from Diablo 2, which I would sell later on ebay for sweet sweet cash. It would proxy between the connection of the client and server, and while the user was in a chat room on the realm it would spam download links for the trojan and subsequently hide the messages from anyone infected, so they wouldn't suspect anything. This made itself spreading, and it was actually so effective that eventually Blizzard put up a warning about it on their website. I took down the sites hosting it at that point, since I was scared, and didn't want it getting traced back to me. I was at a CSLAN party ages ago. I ran a bunch of nets and scripts on the network causing prompts to pop up in front of the game saying dumb shit good luck. Right behind you. Your mother gives great head. Eventually the party organizer paused the games to walk everyone through how to disable messaging services. The funny thing was that about 15% of the people already had that off, including my group, and it caused a few unfair wins. I noped out when people starting looking at me, since I wasn't exactly quiet about the whole thing, was fucking amazing, and the start of a long long road of engineering and infosec work. I worked for a company that was selling people's data. They had about 6 million leads. I dropped the DB before I left. I hope that company collapsed the next morning. 
Couple of years back, I was real begin to reactivating old Hotmail accounts and using them to log in into Facebook. Since this was in the heyday of chain mails with a hundred or so accounts there, I had a huge backlog. Don't know why I did it, a combination of boredom and verism, I think, and lots of free time. I felt like a sort of hacker, at least. Occasionally, you stumble upon things you wish you weren't supposed to- I mean, yeah, I know how that sounds. Once, I came upon a guy's facer book, and after a while you instantly realize it hasn't been used in years. A bit like coming across an abandoned house. Tons of notifications and unopened PMS. On the top of the list of those messages, it was a woman that kept trying to contact him. My first impression was that it was a stalker, maybe an ex that wasn't able to move on. I really don't want to get into details, because even for me, it feels like I walked into an absolutely private matter, but it was mostly her talking about her day-to-day -day stuff and occasionally begging him to come back. Sometimes it got real weird, with her telling him how she felt him in the wind. Turns out the guy was dead, and people have strange ways of coping. I left that habit behind. After that, <laughs> script kiddie college me decided to play with a pen testing program against a gut website from the school network. The amount of network info and other metadata as well as actual documents it was pulling was scary, plus it was overheating my rig because of the processing power involved, and just overall I realized it was a shitty idea, so I killed it. I was hired to develop a payment processor for an unnamed large fast food brand. At this point, I had the ability to take out 100k a day into an offshore account. I would have done this by pulling a movie plot, like Heist. I was going to take 2% of all tax payments. I was thinking about it for a while, then the next day, someone I knew was busted for doing the same thing on a much smaller brand. At this point, I dipped out. I ended up working for the brand for a few more years without committing fraud. This was back in the day of Amon chat rooms. Had a guy who I was watching in a chat room. I had sent him a message acting as a 14 year old. Told him to download my naughty picture. He didn't it was just a quick download that gave me access to the entire system. The tool I used displayed the entire system and all functions in a hierarchy of importance with the windows kernel at the tippy top. As soon as I was all set I deleted his kernel. I lost all my tools from back then, but that was a sweet time to be around. Seek and destroy internet pedus. <laughs> Crashed a print demon on a sprint net. X. 25. Connected system thereby freezing slash crashing the whole mainframe. Never reconnected again because ace I was afraid the be monitoring. This was like in 1991 new whippersnappers. <laughs> Old boss asked me to find the personal data of somebody he had met at a hotel for reasons. I explained that I was unlikely to be able to do it untraceably. Explained social engineering. Explained that I was no good at social engineering. And nope the fuck out. Let him try. <laughs> Not really a hack. The school lit department were a shats and left the password to the main account hard coded in a batch script. I went in and found all the teachers pay, students names, addresses, SSNs just to name a few. Nop and op and op out out out. Back in middle school, I used a VNC to hack all the school PCs. I had a free lesson, so I went to the computer lab or whatever they called it. I connected to the internet, ran angry ipe scanner, great tool, by the way, and picked a random computer. Now for those non-hookers a VNC basically allows you to connect to a different person's PC and control it slash monitor it. As soon as I connected to this guy's computer did I see porn all over the screen. Like that hardcore BDSM fisting shit, or whatever it's called. The reason why this is so weird is that everyone there was like 11 slash 12 slash 13 slash 14 and all that NSFW stuff was never talked about in the school. When I was young I got into hacking AOL for cool screen names. I met people who social engineered AOL. They would call up AOL and pretend their system, Merlin, was down and trick real employees into resetting stuff. I was on the converse call when they stole the owner of AOL account, other high figures, etc. Couple years later we all were friends playing Halo and stuff together. They told me to connect to this live server, you can control mouse, they hacked Comcast website and wanted me to connect to it. I had this weird gut feeling to ask what it was for once. And they told me. I said hell to the no. 
Also these same people had a botnet channel I was in it back in the day and ungoved cyber crimes agent came in and told us to shut it down. I was like 14, so I was scared I was going to juvie. But now I work in size admin and have a good job, so I'm kind of thankful I wandered into that AOL chat back in day. It made me the person I am. Pretty deep into the dark web for work, looking for certain things, came across certain adverts on darknet search websites that made me leave work until the next day. Nope tf out ta there. I would prefer not to say what it was, but you can guess. Was a spammer in the mid to late 90s, there were a group of 3 of us, would make a website using affiliate content, and then spam the link to it. Started off by scanning AOL chat rooms, and we made a decent living from it, 2, 3k for each of us per week. Then we got bigger into it, and left the confines of AOL which led to bigger paydays of 20, 30k per month, until the authorities knocked on one of my partner's doors. They never did come to me, and I was 17 at the time. Stopped once that happened. I guess this counts, not as life slash death as some of the other posts here. Sniff the credentials for our student information slash grading system in high school with Kane and Abel. Did nothing with it, but I could see grades, addresses, SSNS, the works. Not really hacking, kind of amateur teenage social engineering. A friend and I created an account on a French chat website, it was called Cockachat or something like that, that was aimed at children I think. We made our account look like we were a 9 year girl and started chatting with people. Needless to say it was pretty disturbing to see pedas talking with us. One of them was talking almost every day with us. We even thought about sending him a Keeliger or a Trojan to find more information about him and call the police on him. In the end, we were too disgusted and frightened by this guy to continue doing that. 